Copilot in Teams is top one Copilot app in the Microsoft 365. Let's see how you can use Copilot to improve your daily work and what is the magic behind Copilot in Teams, especially from thinking about the meetings, summaries and plans for the future. In this video, I will go through Copilot in the Microsoft Teams and today's capabilities that it could offer. You will see it's super powerful solution that could really help you to speed up the work, especially if you have a lot of meetings that you need to summarize and plan the next step after it. If you are a project manager, service delivery manager or C-level management that needs somebody to take the notes from the meeting, this is perfect solution for you. And if you want to get to know more about Copilot in general and prepare you better, check the Copilot Ready course. This is something I prepared, which is available for free and where I digging through Copilot product in general. And if you want to get to know more about Microsoft 365 and Copilot products, please subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, leave the thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the product, just use the comment section. And before we will switch to the product, let's stop just for a second about the technical requirements for this solution. In general, you will see that notes from the meeting in English are top notch. This is perfect solution. It really could help you immediately to improve your work. But at the same time, it is very important to understand that Copilot in Teams have the limitation from the perspective of the languages it supports. Check the description, I list their currently supported languages and the package of the new ones that will soon be also supported. This is very important because you can run Copilot in Teams and use it during your meetings, but if your language will not be supported, quality of the results you will get there will be quite low. That's why double check the list of supported languages and also when you will record the meeting or transcript the meeting, always check the proper language to be sure that Copilot will provide you the proper solution. From perspective of the version of the app, classic and new version of the Microsoft Teams app are supported, so there's no problems in there. Copilot in Microsoft Teams have multiple functionalities. So first of all, if you will go to the left navigation and select Copilot, you just get Copilot chat in Microsoft 365 and you can learn about the new elements that happening in your organization. For instance, you can ask about what are the latest elements connected with Shimon Bochniak in the place that you work and to gather the summary. This is a traditional approach exactly the same application that you will get access to if you will open copilot.microsoft.com and using that kind of functionality, Copilot will provide you the summary of the information that you can be interested in and you can get exact summary of the components that this person used. And what is also the great thing, you get the reference to all of that. So you can get through this information and deep dive into the summary that you can get. And thankfully, if you're using Teams as your central application for everything, having the Copilot button here could really help you with that. Another element is using Copilot in your chat windows. So if you will go to the discussion with other people with or another person, you can use Copilot to summarize what is happening. Like you can ask Copilot to summarize the last message you get in five bullet points. This is a very similar approach to the other Copilot applications that delivers you this kind of functionalities. In this case, we have the message that somebody sent to us, something very long, we don't want to read that, but we can easily get that kind of summary prepared by Copilot. Or if you are the part of the longer discussion and you are not online for a few days, you can ask Copilot to help you to go through this information and review the elements that you missed. And you can expect that this functionality probably will be also extended to the other place, but right now this is just focused on the chats. And we're getting to the best functionality of Microsoft Teams, so summarizing and recapping the meetings. But before you will start, you need to remember that you need to always start the transcript. To do that, go to the copilot and then start transcripting of the meeting. 
Recording is not required, but transcript and materialize content of the meeting to the written word is required to make the copilot work. So when your meeting is done, you already go to transcript, you can go to recap and transcript and you can get the summary of the meeting. And again, why transcript is necessary? Because if we want to work with Copilot, we need to have the text to work on. This is the large language model behind. It cannot yet work with the video directly. And again, video recording is not required, but transcript is must have to get the Copilot functionality. And the only thing you need to do is to go to the Copilot and then work on the meeting that you have there. You can ask Copilot to summarize the meeting, the content, what was happening during the call if you missed it, and you can get very good summary in few bullet points what was the meeting behind about. So how to take care about free versus paid GPT models and how Copilot could help to address that. And you can already see list the action items. This is the next thing I would like to ask Copilot to prepare. So what should be the following steps after the meeting happened? You can see this is the list of the tasks that should be planned as a follow-up of this meeting. And again, you can see not everything is perfect, but still you need to always remember that quality of the AI models are very good, but still sometimes it will require small tweaking to be sure that everything is proper. Again, you can see exactly what kind of the next steps were recommended during the call. Moreover, you can ask Copilot, okay, you did not participate in the meeting, but let's prepare some kind of questions as a follow-up to be sure that we can continue that kind of collaboration. And again, Copilot could do a really great job to help you to do that. And you can exactly see what we are talking about. We're talking about GPT models that are free versus Copilot and privacy of the data. And these are the questions worth to consider. And imagine if you have very long, very challenging meeting, how much time you will spend to do the recap, to do the notes, to do the action plan after the meeting. This is probably 30 minutes plus minimum. And again, Copilot could save you that time for you, for project managers, for delivery managers, for C-level management or any team that requires that. And to be very fair, quality of this work is very, very high. This is something that, to be fair, works for every customer that enable Copilot right now. But remember, you need to use supported language. And one more comment about this feature. You can also use Copilot during the meeting when you will jump in in the middle because another call delay you. You can ask Copilot to sum up the content, what's happened till the moment that you join. Moreover, Copilot will offer you that kind of functionality when you will jump into the call. But of course, first of all, you need to have Copilot license. Second, the transcript have to be enabled. So what I would recommend you, if you participating in the calls, use the transcript functionality. You can see using transcript during the meeting and then Copilot to summarize the notes, plans and discussion is an extremely powerful solution. This is something that could really improve the way how you work and reduce a lot of manual work that you're doing normally. Frankly speaking, I cannot imagine to get back to the model when I'm doing the notes for all the meetings I'm participating in. Right now I'm using Copilot to do that and just tweaking that after it. I highly recommend you to use that as a one of the top key scenarios when you were thinking about adoption of Microsoft Copilot in your organization and start to play with it. This could really change the way how you work. I hope this video helped you to prepare yourself better for using Copilot for Microsoft 365. If you have any questions, do not hesitate, just jump to the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.